the yug of kali is kaliyug and that's why we are waiting for kalki so i don't think so so my krishna avatar is a story of krishna which is vishnu versus kali the demon and how kali is trying to manipulate kans and duryodhan and everything and how krishna is trying to win it back it's a story that is relevant today because we are in the yug of kali and uh, if today we don't understand the importance of krishna avatar we will never understand the importance of krishna avatar. so that is my first offering and i hope that people will find it interesting and uh, and like it as much as we like presenting it thank you yes i think this something is going on here is it recording or is the sound coming back but can be the recording we played i think so uh, so having done this krishna stories there is what we intend to do uh, all of us is is have a bouquet of stories so there is going to be stories of horror which i am known for uh, there will be stories of love there will be stories of the victory of the human spirit stories that will help us get through the day stories that will make us imagine new things so basically what we want to do is open a door to the world of stories and to the world of imagination I have been associated with Aircel since the past three or four years, and uh, it has been a privilege because Aircel has always looked up to new innovations and new kind of things for the vast products. So since they found my astrology uh, products very unique and very radical, and they partnered me, and uh, I am really glad to announce that I am doing phenomenal business with them. Similarly, when I was sitting with Vikram, I realized the kind of stories he is giving are again very radical and very innovative. And I thought Aircel, with Aircel, we can again do something very unique which no one has ever tried. So just just exploiting his storytelling and reaching out to Aircel, which has been a fabulous partner for me these days. So <coughs> I, I I brought this uh, two <coughs> platforms together, and we are uh, we are very privileged to have Vikram with us on board. And I feel we will do really well with this. Thank you, Mr. Sharma. Uh, I'll open the house for the media. Any questions? Yeah. What is your target audience that you're aiming at? What percentage of it? How big is it that you're looking at? Target audience? I think I'm hoping to have everyone who is religious. everyone who wants to be religious and everyone who should be religious i think that's my target audience i am not a numbers person that i think you should ask mr asudev but as a storyteller i think if you're not interested in the story of krishna the god then you're definitely interested in the story of krishna the human being the story is told in a such a way that it could be appealing to the i don't know i thought we were going to have doing a demo i thought we were going to do a demo we can do that we should do a product why shouldn't we do a demo that's the best way to kind of get people to understand what it is coverage in terms of pop, uh, we have six the country that are about pan india pan india uh, the customer base is about 65 seven, uh, seven, uh, 75 80 million we have villages in different parts so, i mean our population <laughs> covered is about 40 odd percent
in terms of Mr. Basit, just in terms of uh, VAS. So, what, what part of your uh, top line comes from VAS and graduating services? VAS evaluated services about 8%. And what do you expect from this particular project to come? Uh, I, I don't I don't don't have a separate target for these numbers because it's, it's we look at the bouquet of services and how that is working of course and uh, any and obviously we expect it to cross a certain size of business before it makes sense for all of us to continue and we'll keep that and we give it a time for about six months to get there um, and it all depends on how the product does with the customer base you see if VAS services uh, is all about trying out new products and services and we don't know which ones will work which ones will not work and how much they will go etc because it depends sometimes they do very well sometimes they don't do very well so as as a business we ensure that we keep ensuring we're launching a lot of new products the products which do well continue products which don't do well get replaced so that's the way the model works right and is there any particular uh, strategy regarding how you are going to target this product because frankly you know i have never seen somebody use gas uh, and I don't think that VAS uh, is something you would probably aim at uh, people in the urban market. So See, in urban markets, people who are uh, and uh, who are watching uh, uh, see, uh, internet, guys who are on the data space, who are already getting consuming p the content on video, etc., are obviously not going to be using that aggressively. But a large chunk of this market, and probably nearly 65% of the cus of the customer base, don't use data at all. 80% probably don't use data aggressively. 65% don't use it at all. And there's only 20, 25% of the market who's using data in any fashion, in any reasonable fashion. So 80% of the people are not using it, so they have no option but to use that service. Uh, if they want to if they want to watch content of their own choice at their own time. See, what this is allowing a bit like where you watch it, which, when you want it, what you want it. And unlike in the case of radio or, or, or say television, you have to watch what they're showing you. Here you decide at whatever time of the day you want to watch it, you watch it or hear it in this case. So for example, we have products like Aircell Radio as well uh, or Music On Demand, which also do phenomenally well, where customers are able to watch uh, or listen to music when they want and what songs they want, etc. So there is a large chunk of the market who is not, who's not getting there. India is not one big, one big homogeneous group. There are various cuts to this market. So, yeah. So um, you said eight percent of your top line comes from that. Yeah. Is there any particular target number that you have that you because you did say earlier that you're looking at launching more products in this play, in this space. So what kind of do you have any kind of target as to ten percent or twelve percent that you're looking at in another two years or so? We we believe that um, over a period uh, of time the the kind of as services which are being sold will also change. So, for example, there are certain kinds of as services which may diminish, but different ones will come up. But for a telco as an overall business, the market pool of as would remain in the range of eight to ten percent. Yeah, but the kind of services which we use will change. So, unless you constantly keep innovating and adding something new, your business contribution will drop because that's what's happening. People are, are using a different kind of service today than they were using in the past. I mean, uh, you, you lo have lots of services which are changing in the way they're being used uh, uh, in, in, in places. Now, for example, you have the, the uh, lots of services are moving online. Earlier, they used to be running uh, through, through the traditional IVR or the voice SMS-based platform. News used to be watched through a new subscription service. Or cricket alerts used to happen through SMSs. Now they happen through video services. So the way to which the customers are consuming the content is changing, but people are still consuming the content. What about, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about your merger with Arcom? I mean, is that? I have nothing to talk about that. Wait, is that let's focus on the product and launch. I can't talk about that. We can yeah. have the demo. Yeah, let's have the demo. So it's a subscription. We'll come back to your question, but that's a question yeah. I can't talk at this stage. This is a subscription-based product, and once you subscribe, you can listen to the stories. The first genre, obviously, is the Krishna of the stories. Uh, more are in adding, which is horror and thriller. So we'll just give you a product demo. Good afternoon. Please proceed to the next
अब चुने और सुने भगवान कृष्ण के अलग अलग अध्याय मैडम माइक माइक क्या है ना वॉल्यूम भरना है इसका है नहीं कोई स्पीकर ये तो दिस इस व्हाट टीवी ना डू यू हैव अ अ स्पीकर सिस्टम समवेयर यू कैन लॉग इन फ्रॉम एनी फोन और यू कैन लॉग इन फ्रॉम एनी फोन या इसलिए स्पीकर और गेट इन यू हैव एडिशन आउटसाइड स्ट्रांग स्पीकर्स इन योर लॉकर अच्छा वो स्पीकर है। We need some speakers too. I can see. I don't know. We have. Uh, no. No. This will not affect anything of that sort. Mm -hmm. The numbers are there. I'm not talking about congestion at this stage. I'm not uh, getting into that discussion at this stage. The, that will be handled because I don't have the exact numbers to talk about that. I'm not that. I'm not handling the network, so I'm not able to answer those questions. But uh, this does not affect the network congestion in any fashion. Correct. So the, the medium of delivery is changing. Earlier, the medium of delivery was through a voice or through an SMS. Now that's happening through the video services. So the kind of content people are consuming in terms of the delivery systems is moving forward. So you'll get earlier you could use a USSD-based VAS service or an IVR-based VAS service. Now you do it largely through an online-based VAS service. So that's getting easier to do. So that's what's kind of changing, and even the kind of content people are consuming will also change depending on what's made available. It's becoming more video than text, or, and therefore allows a, you to reach a lot more people. Earlier, because it was text heavy, it less it had a limited reach. Now, with video being there, it can reach to a large number of people. So, you'll we'll be capitalizing more on the video content. <coughs> yes, yes. Gradually, video will become the larger and larger form of consumption, like it's become in the case. In in media as well. I mean, television is by far the biggest form of uh, of reach compared to a press or a, or, or a radio. So same thing will happen in, through a mobile system as well. There's no difference. So this is just another endeavor that you're starting simultaneously. You're working on your data offerings. Because as I understand, several telecom companies are now coming off, coming out with their own uh, content for data. Yes. Increase data consumption. Yes. Is that that is this? We are working on that with certain partners. We are working on that as well. But as you say, India is not one. There are certain kinds of customers who are data users, heavy users. They will probably go into that space. There's a large chunk of people who are not having, are not using data even now, and probably the next three to four years they may not be using. For those customers, you need to have as well services available for them to use. You just say 65% of the customer base. Uh, Your that's not just mine. That's industry customer base. Yes. Any particular geography or something? Where? Where? As to where is the where you see? Because as I understand, in the urban areas, majority of us use. No. Uh, no. So any numbers that you could share? I mean, it's it in the urban areas. It would be forty to forty-five percent. Nationally, it's thirty-five percent. Uh, in urban areas, we forty-five percent. What would Bombay city would be? Uh, Bombay would be. Uh, 45 percent, Bombay is 45, 50 percent. Yeah. Because of metro. Yeah. More Correct. So that's the highest in that space. That's so right. half the country does not use data. That's a certainty. Okay. And that's never used data. So the number of people who are regularly using data is even smaller. Yeah. So that's only 20, 25 percent. So the numbers that you're giving me are those who use data, but not not not, not frequently. 
What about your expansion of your 4G network? I mean, are you going to expand your 4G network? We don't have a 4G network right now, so there's no expansion oh, possible. No. <laughs> no, we are working with the, there, there's, uh, at this point of time, uh, uh, there is no 4G we have at this stage. We are working on through with solutions on to see how we get there at a point of time. But at this point of time, we don't have 4G offerings. No, we don't have 4G offerings, right? We had a 4G spectrum, yeah. which we sold off to Airtel a while ago. Broadband spectrum was sold off. Uh, we are working on other options to get to get the services, but as of now, we don't have it. So you offer 3G? Yes, we offer 3G. How many of the customers are on 3G? How many of our customers are on 3G? Roughly, I would say uh, about 15%. But aren't you using out in some sort of, uh, while your competitors are all trying to get into the 4G space and you're still not there, aren't you using out in a customer base? There is, now in the there is, uh, 4G is still 8%. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we will get to 4G eventually. How we get there, we have to work the solution out for ourselves. Uh, but 92% of the market is non-4G, even today. So. It's, it's important for us to focus on what we have rather than what we don't have. Yes, we will get to 4G eventually, we'll find a solution. But there's still enough play left in the 92% of the market where we can still play aggressively. So 4G has to market. still become 4G as yet. 4G is still not 4G as 4G yet. 4G is still not yet. Yeah, 4G is still not yet. Yeah. But any year you're targeting, you said eventually, but any year you're targeting. Uh, maybe we, we probably by the end of this year. By the end of 2017, you would like to get into the 4G Yeah. But how would you, if you sold the spectrum that We're working on our options. So that would be... No. I mean, would you be working with Geo on... We're working on solutions. We are working on options and access to how we want to at that point. Will you merge with Reliance? Sorry? Will you merge with We are not... I'm not in a position to answer any merger questions, unfortunately. So would you like to talk about the Express Tours now? Sorry? Would you like to talk about the Express Tours? Express Tours. Your Express Tours. You had a plan of uh, increasing to 2,000. Express stores. Yeah, SL stores. SL stores. The uh, uh, the four four stores. Yeah. Which you're going to. 110 in Mumbai. 110 in Mumbai at this stage. 110. Yeah. Throughout the country. We are getting close to that number of 2,000. We're working towards getting there. I don't know how many we reached right now. I don't have the number offhand, but we are working in that direction. I think wha what I suggestion is that can we keep the conversation to this product right now since we have people here, we'll discuss other things uh, separately. Call Karo, call Karo. He's answering the question, that's right. What do you want to listen to this story in the portal? What do you want to listen to this story in the portal? आपके निराश पलों में भर देगी रोमांच इज्जत और छू जाएगी आपके दिल को तो बस अब चुने और सुने भगवान कृष्ण के अलग अलग अध्याय लेकिन भट स्टोरी में जाने के लिए एक दवा जहां से आपने छोड़ा था वहीं से कहानी शुरू करने के लिए एक दवा स्टोरी मेनू में वापस जाने के लिए They chose me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Any, any, any specific reason you 
So I think it's it's a it's a different product out there in the market, and there is a need for people to hear stories, and specifically audio levels, because there is a large customer base we have in our in our profile, who are uh, who are who are coming in from their rural <coughs> markets, sitting in their urban cities, working, have a feature phone, have nothing to do at home. They watch music on demand, but this can be another form of entertainment for them. So we thought this is worth giving it a shot and see how it goes. I used to Vikram, but uh, uh, in all of your projects, uh, the movies, the, the kind of uh, um, the, uh, shows you have made, uh, horror, thrill, everything has been your part. But uh, what was the main reason behind this uh, your, this project, like Kahani, Aapki Zubani, although your voice is absolutely great. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. I think redemption. <laughs> For all the horror I have done, I'm telling this. <laughs> I'm finally telling the story of God, for a change, and let people see that I'm not all ghost stories, but some God stories as well. So, thinking to make a movie also in this uh, particular God. If ASL finances me, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like uh, a bit of transformation? It's not that I think in entertainment industry is on a on a curve, and entertainment can't just be cinema. If you're an entertainer, you should, you know, we dabble in television, we dabble on digital. There's all kinds of stuff available. Look, we are storytellers, and our need is to tell stories. Every day we want to catch hold of someone and tell stories. If nobody is willing to listen, we'll catch hold of a driver and tell him a story. But we have to tell a story. We are storyteller addicts, and for us, we have a fabulous platform like Aircell, which offers you, as a storyteller, to tell stories. And then there is a listener out there, somewhere, who wants to hear the story. So, I think it's fabulous synergy. Is this something connected to your uh, upcoming uh, projects? Project? Project something? In your mind, like, is it oh, you mean is this a yeah. is this a stepping stone to another yeah, project? Yeah. yeah. I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of narrative, sir, the stories that we heard, I mean, is it all the same? Is it all just one constant narrative, or is it dramatized also for the, with the multiple actors, voice actors? No, uh, because then that is not storytelling. That's drama, okay. and I think radio does a lot of that. You know, you have a lot of radio plays, and. Uh, the point is not to not to tell a radio play, but to to tell a story. Like you know, grandfathers and grandmothers used to tell stories. So the whole point is to you know have a story storytelling. So you're also going to uh, say a horror story in this? Or no? no, you can't stop me from doing that. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, so don't you think the larger consumer will? Identically go for the horror stories. More than Krishna stories? More than Krishna's. You are going to be up for we a lot of beating up if people, you're going to tell people that there are less takers for Krishna and more takers for horror. Uh, no, I think. Look, I mean, it's on the face of it, you might feel that a horror story is something that will attract more viewers, but when you listen to the story of Krishna and when you listen to it more and more, it grabs you for what it's worth. I think there are enough. Look, horror has a very loyal audience, but a very niche audience. Everybody doesn't like horror, you know. But the people who like horror swear by horror. But as far as Krishna's story goes, everybody likes it, you know. The kids and older people and 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 middle-aged people. Everybody wants to listen to it. And not only horror. There will be thrillers. There will be family dramas. Lot, lot of stories. He, he, he's a bank of stories. Yeah. Of this? Well, I was really scared when he was talking that every six months we, you know, we <laughs> see if the stories are working or not and then, so I want to pass the six months first. Uh, and then, and then we'll see. See, it's a, Krishna is the one who actually created the war of Kutshita. Nobody knows this, but he wanted to bring India under one ruler and he manipulated it so that it can happen. He is the biggest, what we call the Purna Purushottam, he is the complete man. 
there is no real end to the story of Krishna. And you can bring it to a very quick end if you want to. But the point is that one is trying to talk about Krishna like nobody has ever spoken to about it before. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 देखिए मैं तो कहानियाँ बुनने वाला आदमी हूँ मैं स्टोरी टेलर जब भी लिखना हुआ तो लिख के कहानी बोली बताई या कभी फिल्में बना के बताई या तो जब मैं कहानियाँ लिखता था तो ये मेरे दोस्त हैं भूपेश शर्मा जी जो मैं कहूँगा कि ये जो सारा हो रहा है ये इनकी बदौलत से बदौलत है क्योंकि जो मैं कहानियाँ लिखता था उनको ये पढ़ते थे और उन्होंने कहा कि ये ऐसे ही आप कहानियाँ लिखते हैं लोगों तक पहुँचानी चाहिए सो आई सेट कैसे पहुँचाएंगे लोगों तक तो उन्होंने कहा कि मैं पहुँचाता हूँ ये तो काम करते ही हैं एयरसेल के साथ इनका एस्ट्रोबडी जो ऐप है और जो उनकी जो प्रडिक्शन हैं वो एयरसेल के थ्रू जाती हैं हमारे तो तो उनके ज़रिए ये कहानियाँ बताने का एक हमने प्रयास किया है और यही नहीं कि कृष्ण की कहानी है भगवान कृष्ण की कहानी और भी कहानियाँ हैं हॉरर कहानियाँ हैं थ्रिलर्स हैं लव स्टोरीज़ हैं एक पूरा एक जैसे कहते हैं कहानी का एक बुके है जो हम पेश करना चाहते हैं सुनने वालों को हमारा मानना ये है कि अगर लोग गाने सुनते हैं अगर चुटकुले सुनते हैं तो कहानियाँ क्यों नहीं सुनेंगे क्योंकि लोगों को कहानियाँ सुनना बहुत पसंद है हमको अगर कहानियाँ सुनना पसंद है लोगों को क्यों पसंद ना हो हमारा ये मानना है और इसी हमारी जो मानता है उस पर हमने ये काम किया सर कितना कितना इजी और कितना चैलेंजिंग मानते हैं आप फोन पर इससे की ऑडियंस बनाना एक लोगों को देखिए मेरे लिए तो बड़ी बड़ा आसान काम है क्योंकि मुझे कहानी बोलना है जो मुश्किल काम है ये इनका है मेरा भी नहीं उनका है जो चले गए यहाँ से तो लोगों तक पहुँचाना उनको है मैं जिस बात को ज़्यादा समझता नहीं वहाँ पे ज़्यादा बोलता नहीं टेलीकॉम में कैसे चीज़ें लोगों तक पहुँचती है कैसे सब्सक्रिप्शन होता है वैस का क्या होता है ये सारा डिटेल मैं जानता नहीं हूँ मैं जानता हूँ लोग पैसे देते हैं ये सुनते हैं और मैं कहानियाँ बोलने वाला आदमी हूँ कहानियाँ कहानियों के बारे में आप मुझसे पूछेंगे तो मैं घंटों भर बात कर सकता हूँ आपसे रेडियो नहीं टेलीकॉम टेलीकॉम सी अनफॉर्चुनेटली इन अ कंट्री वेरी फ्यू कंट्रोल द लाइकिंग्स ऑफ टू मेनी बॉम्बे एंड डेली डिसाइड वॉट फिल्म शुड बी मेड फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया which i think is becoming a very sad trend because at one time we used to make films for bihar also for up also for madhya pradesh also for rajasthan but right now agar aapke bombay aur delhi ki multiplex mein picture nahi chalti to kaise nahi chali ek india wahan pe hai jo kahaniyan sunna cha raha hai jo vast products ko ko subscribe karta hai jo krishna ki kahani sunna cha raha hai aur hum samajhte hain ki kyunki hum unme se nahi hai to wo bhi nahi hai लेकिन हमसे कई गुना ज़्यादा पॉपुलेशन वो है जो वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स डाउनलोड करता है और उनके लिए कहानियाँ क्यों नहीं क्यों उनके लिए ही कहानियाँ जो हमारे सामने दिखते हैं और जो शायद हमारी कदर भी नहीं करते और सर क्या क्या डिटेलिंग करनी पड़ी आपको जिस तरीके से क्या करनी पड़ी क्या क्या डिटेलिंग करनी पड़ी सर आपको ये डिटेलिंग का जहाँ तक सवाल है ये तो कृष्ण भगवान की कहानी है तो उस पर मतलब एक कहानी की स्टोरी डालने के लिए बताने के लिए जैसे कि मैं देखा कि काफ़ी अप्स हैं काफ़ी डाउन्स हैं तो क्या क्या मतलब वॉइस ओवर के लिए कि लोग किस तरीके से उस उससे कनेक्ट कर सके लेकिन जो स्टोरी लिखता है ना उससे ज़्यादा स्टोरी अच्छा टेलर कोई नहीं होता वो फीलिंग के साथ करता है तो इन्होंने लिखी है तो फील करके बोलता है 
तो उसका इम्पैक्ट बहुत ज़्यादा होता है इसीलिए वो ड्रामा से ज़्यादा बेटर लगता है खुद ही बोल रहे हैं उसका इम्पैक्ट ज़्यादा बॉलीवुड वालों की कहानियाँ तो अब इतनी छपती है झूठी सच्ची सारी हाँ सारी कि मैं अब क्या बताऊँ पहले तो मुझे अपनी कहानी से ही शुरू करना पड़ेगा और मुझे किसकी मुझे किसी बॉलीवुड स्टार में कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है जरा सा भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं है बिल्कुल इंटरेस्ट नहीं है उनकी कहानी में आ, लोगों को है मगर लोगों तक ये कहानियाँ पहुँचाने के बड़े माध्यम अब हैं मुझे इंटरेस्ट हैं अपनी कहानियों में आ, मुझे इंटरेस्ट है अलग अलग कहानियों में और मैं बॉलीवुड फिल्में बनाता हूँ बॉलीवुड डायरेक्टर हूँ लेकिन मैं और भी बहुत कुछ हूँ मैं लेखक हूँ मैं एक कहानीकार हूँ मैं एक थिंकिंग जैसे कहते हैं ह्यूमन बीइंग हूँ सिर्फ एक डायरेक्टर हूँ तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि मेरा दायरा बस वही है कि बॉलीवुड की बातें करते रहो और बॉलीवुड के बाहर मत जाओ क्योंकि बॉलीवुड के बाहर आपको कुछ आता नहीं ऐसा होता नहीं दिस इज फॉर दिस प्रोडक्ट सर थर्टी फर्स्ट के दिन महिलाओं के साथ बस्तर किया गया बैंगलोर सिटी में तो आप कैसे देखते हैं उसका और मेरी कहानी का क्या लेना देना भैया मैंने कुछ नहीं किया मेरा कोई हाथ नहीं है उसमें मैं बॉम्बे में था मैं बीमार था और मैं सो गया था पौने बारह बजे बाल बाल बज गया बाल बाल बज गया मैं देखूंगा लेकिन जरूर मेरे दोस्त आमिर खान की पिक्चर है